busy, complex, exhausted. These are just a few words that I hear every single day from people all around the world who have not yet learned how to simplify their existence. You see, it doesn't matter whether you're a CEO, an entrepreneur, or like a stay-at-home dad or housewife, this impacts every single one of us. There's this thing called the 30% rule, and it basically just says that 30% of our time is spent sleeping, 30% of our time is spent working, and 30% of our time is spent kind of on the accessories, on eating, on playing, on hobbies, etc. The truth be told, there really is probably more like 40 to 50% of our time is spent on work. And then a larger number of amount of time, like maybe another 30 to 40% of our time is spent doing meaningless things. The other percent kind of falls into sleep category. We need to basically throw out the 30% rule, but basically throw up two big old middle fingers to the 30% rule because what I want to show you right now is how you can begin to let go of this inner argument that is creating havoc and causing you to not be as productive as you can be. To begin to release extra time, we need to cut out the fat. I mean, basically, in essence, we're spending this time, This in, there's this inner argument going on. We're like... Listen, man, I just got off of a 12-hour work shift. All I want to do is look at Facebook. And then the other part of you is like, man, why don't you spend time with your children? Man, I, I, you know what I really enjoy? I enjoy rock climbing. Let's go rock climbing. No, nah, man, I just, uh, Instagram, though, man. I got to check out the Insta. And we got this big old argument going back and forth inside of ourselves. And then, listen, if you haven't had that argument lately, you're probably in such a state of slumber that you're just kind of going through the motions. Let's, it's time to shake free of going through the motions. I want to show you right now how, how you can begin to simplify your existence, raise your productivity, and increase the joy in your life. And... It comes through cutting the fat. So the first question we need to ask ourselves is, what brings you joy? What brings you joy? If you're not enjoying your work, it's for one of two reasons. Number one, you never enjoyed it in the first place. A lot of people fall into this trap, into this category. They're going through the motions. They're working 8 to 12 hours a day for money. In essence, you are a prostitute. You might not be prostituting your body sexually, but you're prostituting your body, your time, and your energy for money. It's the same exact thing. It's just not giving yourself sexually. I want you to consider that for a minute. If we're not doing what we're passionate about, then you're still a prostitute. I tell all my students and clients, don't ever work for money. Allow money to work for you. Allow others to work for you, but don't ever work for money or you're a prostitute. All right, so find out what brings you joy. See, the second reason why we aren't enjoying our work is because we've forgotten our why. Have you forgotten your why? Why did you used to, past tense, enjoy the work that you do? Why are you doing it now? See, the, the, we need to rediscover our why. Why is it that you became, that you wanted to be a stay-at-home dad? Is it because you wanted to nurture and raise your children and really pour into your children's lives? See, somewhere along the line, what probably happened was you got distracted between poopy diapers, washing dishes, and making dinners, and you got so overwhelmed and exhausted by all of that, oh, and the in-between scrolling up and down on Facebook, that we forgot entirely our why. Our motivation for doing it in the first place is now kaput. It's gone, and now all we're doing is going through the motions, and it becomes very difficult, very stressful, very complex when it doesn't have to be that way at all. And so, cut the fat. What are the things that are distracting you or keeping you from enjoying what you're doing again? What are some of those things? What brings you joy? 
You know, I think about um, vacation. And when we go on vacation, it's very simple. I pack, we pack some clothes for the week, the two weeks, the months that we're going to be gone. And that's pretty much it. We might pack a few other things. You know, we pack toiletries and a few other things. But you don't carry your house with you when you go on vacation. One of the reasons why vacation is as relaxing as it is is because you're not carrying all of your attachments, all of your work attachments, all of your relational attachments, and all of your possessional attachments into your vacation. No, you're carrying very little. It's a very simplified existence. What if you could li- live like you're on vacation all the time? What if you could live such a, a life of simplicity that it literally was relaxed and chill? all the fucking time and the answer is you can live that way but it's time to start asking does this bring me joy go through your wardrobe today and look at you know, are there things in here that I don't wear or that I don't that don't bring me joy that don't get me fired up that don't fit my current style get rid of them you can buy more clothes they're cluttering not only your wardrobe, they're not only cluttering your closet, but they're cluttering your mind. And there are so many different little categories in our life that exist in this exact same way. When you find them, when you discover what they are, you need to ask yourself, be very ruthless. See, simplicity requires ruthlessness. Be ruthless in cutting the fat. In order to find the extra time, which if you cut the fat, you will, You'll find the extra time to play, to enjoy your hobbies. You'll find the extra time to enjoy hanging out with your friends, doing things with your family. Not just going home and watching TV where your family's in the other room, but actually doing things with your family. You'll find the extra time to start living passionately again if you just are ruthless enough to cut the fat from your life. There are so many things that we don't need. I mean, sometimes all you have to do is walk out to your driveway and ask yourself, do I need all four of those new cars? And if I didn't have all four of those new cars, would I have to work the same amount of time? And the answer is no. So if I could cut an extra four to eight hours a week from my work, what would I be, and get rid of one of these cars, what then would I be doing with my time? Maybe if I downsize my home, would it free up more time to do the things that I really love? This is Lifestyle Design 101. I'm gonna have a lifestyle design course coming up very soon. It's a live course that you can participate in. I'm gonna drop the link below. And I, I, I know that course in and of itself is gonna dive into the depths and basically help reprogram your entire mindset, to change your mindset so that you can attract the lifestyle that you want, manifest the lifestyle that you want. In essence, guys, this is the bottom line. The more productive you become equals the more fat you cut. The the fat is not needed. Eliminate, learn to eliminate distractions. I'm gonna drop, put right here the transition. I practice the transition all the time. Link is right here. And it will revolutionize and ultimately help cut a lot of the distractions from your existence. So be sure to watch that video right now. As soon as this video is over, click on that video. Make sure you watch it. It's going to be a powerful tool for you, a powerful practice for you. I hope this helps, guys. I, I want you to live your best fucking life now. I want you to enjoy your passions, rediscover your passions, awaken your passions, and I want to evoke action right now. So Cut the fat from your life, and it will ultimately simplify everything. I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.